Hey everybody, it's your friend Sarmin here. Welcome back to another episode of Settlement Survival. I hope you're having a great day today. And this one, we got a couple things to work on. We finally got to the uh, the corral, this side. Uh, this whole tree is taken care of. So, we can see here we got a couple little horse buddies that we ordered a little bit ago hanging out here. Now, I couldn't find where they go, so we're just going to go with the, uh, the corral here. And while I'm looking at this screen, and before I forget, we had a nice commenter who, you know, I had mentioned before the colors for these boys, right? We have the dark, we have the brown, we have the whatever color this is, red, and then this tan color. And then they match up, right? Well, you can sort them by clicking on one of these guys here. So they don't like, yeah, you know, I don't know, become a button or anything. But if you click pasture, look at that. It gets rid of all the other junk. So instead of having a huge list like we have here if i want textiles boom textiles there's all those things so thank you very much for posting that comment uh, i hope i'm not the only one who didn't notice that so hopefully you helped out me and some other person as well so that's fantastic and amazing thank you very much so let's get back to this corral now in this little area over here we have put a ton of things a ton of farm things and uh, i think that's what we're going to continue to do we got some corrals that we're going to put in and these uh, orchard, not orchards, these pastures can be replaced with corrals eventually. So uh, let's just see. So they are the same width. That's perfect. So we'll put one here. I'm going to just do a couple here because we are going to have lots of cows and uh, horses and all these other guys that we have running around. I want them to be in corrals uh, because the corral gives us... 50% increase in yield. So, well, I mean, why wouldn't you, right? So we're gonna do that. We're gonna lay a uh, we're gonna lay a laid stone road down over here, and we'll meet this guy up like so. Okay, well, that that's gonna get worked on, of course. You know, along with this, uh, I'm wondering if the uh, well, I'm gonna I'm wondering if I'm gonna need corn for horses, but I don't know why I think that because none of the other animals need feed, uh, but for the feed mill. And this is the thing that can, you know, we can give our fishermen some bait and stuff with that. So this is going to need corn and we don't have any corn. Well, we didn't have any corn. I ordered a ship and the ship has arrived. So now if we hit I and go to seeds and livestock, we have corn seeds. Let's get some corn going here. Uh, let's see if we have any open fields. I think I left something open over here, didn't I? Nope, I guess not. So we're going to have to put in some more plantations. We can do that right next door to these guys. And we go here and we go plantation. And uh, it looks like we'll just do a couple right in here. And as these are getting built, ooh, I can fit this guy in there too. And then we'll bring a road out this way. Uh, and these are getting built. I can show you a couple other things that we got. Some fun things I'm kind of excited about. See how they work. And let's make this road come connect over there. And there we go. But, but yeah, the same. These guys are going to get built. Let's go over here. Check this out. So we have our big old pumpkin guy, and it looks like they have finished with all of the things we needed. The 10,000 pumpkins arrived very, very quickly with as many farms as we had. So now we have this cool thing. Well, Halloween's over with, unfortunately. We got to wait a whole other year. But we can hold happiness. We can hold festivals to increase our happiness. So once every five years, to gather all citizens and significantly increase their happiness. Let's do it. Hold a festival. I'm not sure how long it's going to take. Oh, looks like it's immediate. Looks like all these other peeps are coming around. So they're going to go party for a while. So that's kind of fun. Let's see if we can get a little view in here. They just kind of go I don't know, in and out of the pumpkin. <laughs> Anyways, that's awesome. Uh, oh, look at all these folks coming. OK, that's a lot. <laughs> we also got uh, from a ship a couple other of these blueprint guys. So we got our big horn here, directed a decorative building. That can be built in towns. Brigands required. The horn, uh, the horn of charge, can inspire the citizens and increase their movement speed. So we're gonna absolutely do that. And this is kind of our party zone nowadays, I guess. So we can do one right there, and we have a totem. Buildings full of faith and a small amount of health lower limit for all citizens. So I, th I think what that's trying to say. Is that this is going to make the citizens healthier so we're going to put in this awesome totem look at how cool that is and uh, that's going to go right over there and 
We got a sword in the stone. Super awesome. This is a structure that can be placed in the water. Reduces the stress on the citizens by a small amount. So that's very curious how that's like that. Like we can't even build this on land. Look at that. It has to be in the water, which, okay, I guess it's cool. We'll put it right square in the middle. Uh, I don't like that very much. <laughs> I want to be able to see it. Okay, that's better. Can we get rid of this guy down here? No. Okay, well, I guess we have two. That's going to drive me absolutely insane, but whatever. Uh, we'll just pretend it's not there. <laughs> um, it looks like... Oh, look at that! Holy! The happiness went crazy high. They wasn't joking. Ultra high work efficiency increases 10% for 25% health after 100. We got a little bit. A little bit of health after 100, but not much. So we got these awesome, cool... Uh, I'm going to call these wonders. They're not really wonders, but that's kind of what they feel like to me. Uh, just little perks, I guess, that go around town. Now, I'm wondering if these stack. So if we had... If we had, like, oh, I don't know, a hundred of these angels increases the lifespan of citizens, could you, could you, in theory, have citizens that don't, well, I guess they would die, but they'd be like elves, right? They would live for, like, 400 years, and uh, that would be pretty interesting. So let's see if we can make some uh, elvish lifespan people, and we'll just, let's just do a line of these angel guys over here. And we'll see what we can do. And we'll see if we can find somebody who's like 150 years old after a little while here. And we got the we got the tears. We might as well do it. I mean, this is kind of cool, right? So we'll get that in there. And we'll let that get built. And we can check back down over here. We don't quite have corrals. So we're running into this a brick issue right now. Uh, I'm going to make... Since this guy's already started, I'm going to make that a priority. We're running into a brick issue right now. You can see all of my luxury houses around here are waiting for bricks. We do have a couple more kilns going. Let's see if I can find them. Uh, here it is right here. And uh, we are making more bricks, but it's slow going. So I might have to do a couple more of those. But anyways, that's the deal with that. It's happening, but it's slow. Uh, it looks like we're running short on water. Uh, that's concerning. Um, somebody mentioned that we could put in a couple more wells so that the citizens can get the water and they don't have to go all the way back to their homes. So we could do that. Uh, we'll put that, I don't know, somewhere good over like over in here. Oh, that didn't work quite right. There we go. We'll put that there. And uh, heck, we might as well put another one over here. I'm just going to just kind of dot them around. I mean, well, maybe a little well because we don't need a huge one over there, right? We'll put one there. And that, we'll try that out for now. And then uh, I think over here, yeah, we did. We put in a couple of tents over here to fill this gap in. Somebody that was in the comments as well. Great idea. So we got that put there to use that space for something instead of it just being a void. So thank you again for that comment. Uh, we have, you know, I'm wondering what we can do with these mines. I, I suppose we could just destroy them, but oh, look at this upgrade. Hmm. So we can upgrade our mines just like the quarry. I'm guessing just like the quarry. So when we upgrade it, where's our quarry? Right here. It will refill the quarry or the mines, I wonder. It's got to be it, right? So that's cool. I, that, I mean, that's what I'm guessing. We'll see. Uh, well, we can just try it with this one and uh, we will do that and we'll see how that works. That is my hunch, though. We got a little housing area working over here. We almost have it all filled in. Uh, not quite, but... I'm trying to sneak in as many houses as I can here. I'm doing these as luxury houses just because uh, I think that's I like them better. Uh, but I did realize that, of course, when you have a regular house. we So we have home textiles, right? We were working on that for a little bit. And that's what this is. Household textiles. So if we upgraded the houses, basic houses. With this. As soon as we upgrade them, that is kind of that's invalid. So I mean, as well as a furniture, we could do both, or we could do either. We can only have one upgrade. Uh, so I was kind of bummed about that a little bit, but so okay. So this is a luxury house. So if we go to the luxurious bed, it's got to be luxurious textiles made from silk, wool, or feathers at the advanced home textile factory. And I think we actually, I think we do have that. So let's see if we can find the advanced home textile factory. And uh, here we go. Yep, we do have that. That was easy find. Um, let's go with, so these are household textiles. Oh, here's the luxurious textiles. So yeah, we don't have any silk yet. Um, uh, maybe we could 
grab that next. I don't really have any plans for our next technology advancement since this tier is done. This tree is done. So we could go down to silk for sure. Oh, that's one thing I was thinking about doing. So both of this leather, I wanted to get down to this. I want to get down to this fine leather and uh, get that working as well. But both of these are good. So maybe these four things will be our next deal. Uh, maybe we'll go with we'll go with silk first because we have these mulberry guys working already. We can yep, see 10 of them here. Uh, we can start making silkworms and then maybe we'll go with leather working or leather wear here and we'll just bounce back and forth. We'll do silk, this, this, and then this. And then we can work down that tree and have that stuff taken care of as well. I'm hearing our little ping of things getting built. So let's go ahead and we'll check down over here. And we did have our corral all ready to roll. And here we go, horses. So horses have to be in the corrals. So I would suggest if you're going to get horses, get the corrals first, and then you have a spot for your horses because they do not work in the pasture. Because see, I can't, there's nothing here. Go here. There's the horsies. So we had two horses. Okay, squealing horses. Look out. Uh, we had the two horses up in our fairy area and they are gone. So let's see if we can find them. That's just people running around. Uh, sometimes you can see the animals that uh, move across the map when you move them in between corrals, so, or I mean, uh, pastures. So I thought maybe we could see them, but I don't see any running around. We'll have to check back here. This says we have two, so they'll be there shortly, I would guess. Okay, I was hoping that we would get some horse meat out of here. And then, of course, we want to get to our logistics and we want to get down to this tier tree as well. So maybe we'll do this first. And then we'll move into the other processing stuff. And we'll just make sure that we're doing okay before we move into another tier of uh, industry stuff. All right, our corrals are full. We got three cows, three horses. Now, I wanted to do cows and horses because horses, of course, they have the ability to move some stuff around with animal power. So I wanted to get that and have tons of horses and be able to utilize those guys as much as possible. Uh, the cows I did because we had... We finally got our wheat seeds a while ago, a couple episodes, right? And I thought that I could just make bread with it. Well, I, I learned that I couldn't. So the bread workshop requires some things. So we got the flour. Uh, we are currently working on sugar. We got that right here. So that's taking some malt and making it into sugar. Oh, spoiled. I spoiled it. Didn't mean to. <laughs> our bread workshop can't be working. So we're going to get a couple of people working into our bread shop and we can finally make some biscuits or cookies. So we'll get that going. That's a different kind of food. It is a, I believe it's called a simple food. We'll go right here and check that. Yep, there's biscuits right there. So it says for all these other foods, let's see if I can read this. It says directly edible, it's a rough food. Long time consumption is harmful to health. So you want, it's an incentive to like process it into something more than just the basic thing. And I think that's, that's what I was hoping for with these biscuits. Now. All right, do I think that pumpkins are <laughs> worse for you than cookies? Uh, no, pumpkins are, of course, better for you to eat than cookies are. But that's that's what the game says, so that's why we are incentivized to do that. So this is just making biscuits. Uh, we have chestnut jam we are working on and butter. So if we click on this guy right here, the uh, this is our other bread workshop. Let's and all these guys like so and we're gonna do this to be a toast and we'll turn this guy on and that's gonna get working uh and the final thing i'm gonna want is this butter workshop here so like i was mentioning the cows of course milk butter boom so we'll do that get some of that action started and then we'll have the butter workshop the butter workshop once we get a little bit of a backlog of butter you know stirring up and we're good to go uh then we'll build a, another bread workshop or we'll shift one of them uh, to be making us croissants. So we'll have all three of these items. Uh, I mean, why wouldn't you, right? If we can. So that's the plan. It's going to take a minute to do so. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and grab the bakery here. Uh, I'm not sure what the difference between bakery and bread workshop is going to be. Uh, other than, of course, it makes a little bit more uh, refined foods and whatnot. Uh, more variety. So it looks like my little industrial area got full really, really quickly. Uh, I did kind of maximize out as much as I could with the marketplace here. So these areas, uh, obviously I can't use them because they're already occupied. So the bakery, 
uh we'll just put that i don't know it, it works right there so we'll put that it's i don't really like it there but it fits so that's what it's gonna be back to the corrals so i noticed so we got the corn right we got the corn seeds got the plantations going we got some corn coming so i noticed and i was curious about this so this is requiring it doesn't require fodder it's requesting fodder so what i don't know is if you had a corral and you had a critter in the corral but you didn't have fodder if that critter would die eventually i don't know i was scared to find out so i got my fodder fodder factory working as fast as i could got our soybeans got our corn making fodder it's all fantastic and amazing i think i think what it is is so you know you can use fertilizer for increasing the yield of certain farms i think that the fodder is kind of like the fertilizer for the corral while i'm not certain on that that's what my suspicion is so either way we have a fodder so it's not an issue as long as we have enough to keep all six of these guys fed and happy uh we did have a ship that came in and we finally 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 got some toilets we were talking about this for oh it's been a minute quite a while so we can use one of these upgrades for a toilet uh let's see uh can provide residents with sanitary places to increase their health level and health is one that's kind of been it's not in a bad place by any means but it's been sitting there and we haven't done anything so hopefully this gives us a little bit more of a bump in our health and these things are like 3300 coins a pop so i was only able to buy four of them i didn't want to go clear out my silver coins but i also traded a bunch of stuff for them and i think that's all i have yep okay so those are good a little bit of a boosty for those guys and that's that's fun that's exciting oh so let's go check our angels that we had over here look at that okay so those are all built up now let's see if we can find like a list of our people okay and we'll find all their ages so this is old 168 i was thinking that the oldest person was 168 but that's not right uh so let me just take a peek here see if i can find anything I didn't find anything that showed a good list of the uh, citizens' ages, but I just clicked on some houses, and the highest one I found was 88. Uh, you can see the ages here, uh, and they were a miner, so uh, that's pretty uh, pretty awesome. That's an, old, an awesome old person mining in the uh, in the mines, of course. They're being that old, so I don't know. We'll have to keep an eye on it, and see if we can find somebody who gets really old. Uh, let's see if our angels actually had a good effect. But uh, yeah. Great. We did a lot of good work today. We got some corn going. We got some fodder going. We got cows, all sorts of upgrades. So thanks for coming and hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, I hope you have a great rest of your day, morning or evening. See you on the next one.